Why, hello. My name is Taylor. We could have not been in a better spot when it came, when it was announced that it had spread. We were in the perfect location. Me, my family, a couple friends of ours, we, it was set in stone. We were perfect. Where were you, may I ask? We were... We were up in the mountains. We were smack dab in the middle of Colorado. We were we were up in the Rockies. We we had a little refugee camp of sorts, not necessarily in preparation for when it came, but as more of a retreat out of our of our daily lives, of our daily doings and jobs and such. It was a group of about five to six houses. It was it was nice. I mean, it had a stream, a little pond of water, some river of flowing water. It was very peaceful. It was very, very nice. And we could not have been in a better spot. For about two months, we were living there peacefully. Everything was going fine. There was a bunch of water for everyone. Everyone was getting along. No one had died at all. We didn't see a single zombie come in our area. I think... Actually, no, wait, we did have one. We had one come in about two weeks in, but we quickly dispatched of them, and then we haven't seen one since. It was it was perfect. Everything was going fantastic. We thought we were going to wait it out. We were ready for the long haul. But it turns out that everything doesn't necessarily go as planned. It was about two months in, or almost three months actually, about three months in, when our real enemy came, we went into our storage room and found that we were almost out of food. We had water. We had water to survive forever. We had nice, clean, fresh, flowing river water. We had a stream, a pond about half a mile away. We had plenty of water, but the food, that is where it really got to us. Uh, we had a I think, I can't even remember what it was. I think it was about 24 people there total. We came up from a couple of stragglers that were just hiking through the mountains trying to find a safe place to live. So we had about 24 people there and we had about three days worth of food for everyone to have. That is not a lot. We were struggling. We knew we were in trouble and we knew we had to do something about it. So we acted. We did something and we decided to try to change it for us. We took a battalion, is what we called it. I always thought that was kind of strange that we called it a battalion. We took a battalion of about eight fathers and two teenagers, me and another guy. I never really found out his name, actually. I wish I would have. We traveled down the mountain with our bows and our crossbows and our pistols and our snipers to hopefully try and find some meat, some deer, some moose maybe, who knows, we we weren't really expecting to find much, maybe even a rabbit or two, who knows, but what we stumbled across, oh my god, I can't believe this happened, what we stumbled across was an oil rig, we just, it just so happened that we were right above an oil factory place where they would collect a bunch of oil to be transported to other areas, to gas stations, to engineer places. I don't know. I don't really care about oil. And it took us by surprise. We we didn't know what to do with the oil. We thought we could maybe use it to get some cars up and running, maybe to light some fires of some sort. We We just decided to do something with the oil. So it was actually night when we finally got enough oil together to make a trek back. We had four barrels. Uh, we each carried a barrel. We had actually we know we had two guys on each barrel, and it worked well. We were able to carry it up the up the up the you know the mountain. But it was night. It was really really dark, and we made the ultimate mistake. We lit a torch. That ruined everything this torch the guy who lit it unfortunately had oil on his hands when he was moving oil into and from to be transported his hands lit on fire he dropped the torch and all the oil that was slowly leaking out of the drums exploded i was the only one that survived the explosion 
I didn't know what to do at that point. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I just decided to try to make the trek back towards our camp. And at this point, I was I was covered in blood and flesh. And my face was ripped open from the explosion. And I think I may have been missing a finger. I'm not exactly sure. But if you couldn't tell already, zombies have quite a particular scent for flesh. I didn't make it a half mile before they swarmed me. It turns out they were lying right under our noses the entire time. Never light a torch while carrying oil drums. You may just regret it. <laughs>